So everyone, I'm very excited to be here with David Lawrence, the 17th, the 17th, <laughs> who is an expert on voicing audiobooks. And um, David states that there are more jobs available for voicing audiobooks than there are audiobook announcers or people who are ready to do I, this. Well, hold on, hold on. No? I wouldn't say that. No? I, what I would say is that there are more opportunities in the audiobook space with fewer people going after them than there are in other categories. Um, I was on ACX, I think yesterday morning or Saturday morning, 3,800 titles waiting to be produced. Now, not all of them are titles that I would suggest my clients and students go after because unfortunately some of them are going to be titles that will sell like two copies you know one to the author and one to the author's mom but yeah but the opportunities it's one of the lowest hanging fruit in the world of voiceover wow this is what i love about david david you are so clear and honest and so for the talent oh, yeah. to do well, just that little nugget yeah. that you just gave. So you mentioned ACX, and by the way, I'm a perfect person to have a conversation with you about this. I'm a casting director for years and years and years, and I know many other casting directors. We do not cast audiobooks. Right. Those jobs do not come to casting directors. Right. And those jobs do not go out on um, generally um, on maybe 99.9% .9 of the time, they do not go out on breakdown services. Absolutely. So David is a wealth of knowledge. And first of all, what is ACX? So, so the letters ACX stand for Audiobook Creation Exchange. And it's a site that does two main things. Number one, it matches authors and publishers, what, what are called rights holders, who have printed books that have not yet been turned into audiobooks with pe people like me and everybody watching, uh, voice talent, who narrate audiobooks. And it's owned by Audible, which is the big 800 pound gorilla on the audiobook block. You probably have the Audible app on your phone, which is in turn owned by Amazon. And Amazon had a whole bunch of uh, like, not a whole bunch, but millions of Kindle books that had not yet been turned into audiobooks, And they thought, well, we can make a platform that's like a dating service that matches these people up. And then they not only did that, but they didn't leave us on our own. They created a structure uh, and a production path that allowed the narrator as they did the chapters of the book to upload it to uh, Audible, to ACX, Mm -hmm. and get things approved and ready for retail sales. So it's a lovely stack of offerings for both the rights holder and for the narrator. You know, I love that you said, and um, they didn't leave us alone, <laughs> because someone just can't go on and say, oh, that looks like an interesting project. I think I'll go after that. And you do have an ACX masterclass where you don't leave people alone. You, from the very beginning, from A to Z, you tell them how to do it. And from yeah. what I understand to people who have already done this, yeah. you are there as a support system. So someone can't just go on and say, oh, interesting project, you know, like um, submitting for audio camera oh i think i'll submit for that like what is the process yeah so it's very interesting that you brought this up because acx is different from breakdown services and other voiceover related casting sites in one really important way you can be invited to audition like i remember when i came in for you in your room over in santa monica it was because you invited me to come and audition right well that's not required with acx if you're an ACX member, and by the way, it's free to be a member of ACX, you just go look for the titles that you want to audition for and you audition for them. It's on you. And there's no invitation necessary. Now, a rights holder may invite you, but it's not necessary. 
And what we do in the ACX Masterclass is we help you take this from a, gee, this would be a nice thing to do, to this is what I do. This, we take you to that moment at the party when somebody goes, so what do you do? And you go, oh, I'm an audiobook narrator. And the whole conversation changes. People are like, really? Wow, that must be really fun. How does that happen? And then, you know, you have the opportunity to hold court. But we, we definitely want you to be expert at building a business at this rather than a hobby at this or a, or a pity pad at this. And there's a lot of videos in the last couple of days of so much free information that I've already shared. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a link in my bio if people watching this have not seen them yet. And it's, it's interesting because I've been getting messages and people who I assume have seen it say, how do I get into this? Um, so there are videos that you can watch, link in bio, but maybe you can tell us, I don't know, some nuggets that can help people without, you know, maybe to entice them to look at the videos. Yeah. However so, you want to approach this. Sure. Currently we're open for registration for the ACX masterclass. We opened yesterday, but if you look right at the top of that page where you start to read about the registration, there's a link that says looking for those free videos, click here. And if you click there, you'll see all the videos. And I think one of the things that generated the most comments underneath those free videos was the idea that you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on equipment. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost embarrassing. But there's a microphone that I use, and I have my Neumann, and I have my Sennheiser. I have my Neumann U87, my Sennheiser MKH 416. They're sitting up there on the shelf, and they're in their little oak boxes, and they're awesome. I don't use them anymore because I use this microphone that used to cost $150. It's a USB microphone. It's a unicorn because it's a good USB microphone, not a crappy one. And I used to say, now, don't buy those $50, $60 USB microphones because they're the ones that everybody's telling you to stay away from. This one's $150. So you, you can just look at the price and, and notice that, well, guess what they did? They lowered the price to $59.88. Oh my goodness. And I bought one because I wanted to put them side by side and make sure they hadn't cheaped out on any of the, the, the innards of mm -hmm. it. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. So when you find out that you can approach this from a really professional uh, viewpoint and not, you know, exhaust your bank account just getting the equipment, uh, that makes all the difference in the world. All of a sudden, this becomes a more doable thing. And then we got a lot of people in major markets that maybe live near a freeway or have leaf blowers in their neighborhood or kids or dogs or whatever. Um, this course, the ACX Masterclass, talks about every single aspect and trains you in every single aspect of this work, including setting up your recording space, getting the right gear for, for a very reasonable amount of money, uh, how to use that gear. We do, we do coaching in terms of fiction and nonfiction books. And then we also have the secret sauce of the class, which is a system that I created called the Stair Step Method that makes the recording and the editing and the mastering of your audiobooks a very straightforward, very systematic approach that keeps the quality as high as it possibly could be. And so that's kind of the core of, of what we do. And the videos talk about that. Just, you know, people were amazed. Really? Huh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about editing because someone who doesn't know what to turn in, I right. mean, they don't even know What's expected? You know, what is the best? How to, what is the best presentation? Sure. Is it like an audition? Like, do you, do they, um, when they see one of these projects, like, do they record a couple of pages and? Sure. The audition part is definitely just like that. You hit the nail on the head. You're given a few pages, less than five minutes, always. That's, that's ACX's limit to uh, show the rights holder what you could do. And sometimes they'll give you the whole book and they'll say, pick something. And so we train people on what to pick, pieces of dialogue, pieces of exposition, uh, maybe areas that show off your ability to do characters and accents. If that's something that you do, you don't have to. 
you know, a lot of people don't want to do audiobooks. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do a, a Southern Mongolian accent. How many, you know, they're going to, they're going to ask me for that. Yeah. Listen, you, you, you don't have to be a world-class expert at these things. You just have to be able to be a good storyteller. And I know that the people that are watching you are already in that group. They wouldn't be here if they didn't, you know, if, if you weren't a known quantity. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Shelly just said, so glad I found out about this. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Great. Hi, everyone. My eyes keep going down because I'm looking at your messages. Because if you do have a question, please ask it. And um, as I said, my eyes are going down looking for That's your okay. questions. Yeah. Um, so, so this is online, right? And they can do it at their leisure. But how long are there, like, are there sessions? How many sessions to the whole package or, yeah. or you know, till they can learn and actually get out there and do it? What are your thoughts on that? Well, um uh, it depends. Um, it, it not it depends how long the class is, but it depends on your engagement. It depends on uh, what you uh, what you put into it. As, as you know, so many things going on in my head right now. So yeah. first of all, the summer we do this course twice a year, and the winter course we actually make people go to a six p.m. Zoom session every Monday and Thursday for the four weeks of the course. We record those. And those are what we use in the home study version of the course, which is what we're doing now. So we release those recordings every week, just as if they were, they had been live, but you get to do this on your own. You get to do this at your own pace. However, your own life is. We have people who can't wait every day at noon. We replete, we release new stuff every day at noon. Um, they can't wait for that stuff to come out and, and just gobble it up. And then there are people who are like, I got kids, they got camp. I got vacation, I'm, you know, I'm doing other stuff and they get to it when they get to it. So I will tell you this, every single class that we've had, by the time we're showing people how to create a really compelling and magnetic profile and we tell them, okay, now put this recording up, your profile is going to go live. Within a day, we have people getting offers on ACX. Wow. And the reason is, well, we, we attract the same people you attract. You know, we attract people who actually know how to tell a story mm. and have acting skills. And we're not attracting, you know, that, that auto repairman in Paducah, Kentucky, who wakes up one morning unhappy that he has to get grease under his fingernails and says, by God, I'm going to be an audiobook narrator. How hard can that be? Right. You know, we, we don't get those people. So the answer is it can be it can be amazingly quick sometimes too quick people are like oh my god i just got an offer what do i do <laughs> okay it's okay we have this lovely community where you can post about this and we will tell you what to do we will Thank give you, you yeah i was gonna ask are they like left alone once they oh, no. start this course because i understand you are you're a great support system yeah we're annoying the whole thing. supportive yeah, we're annoyingly supportive. Um, <laughs> we, when we first started doing this course, it was 2014. We're about to celebrate our 10th anniversary. This is the 20th version of the course that we've done. And everything's up to date. Everything's like as the business changes, as ACX changes, uh, as their policies have changed, we keep all of our students aware of that. And we have this amazing community that we just, don't let be like all those Facebook groups that you've been to where they go, have you checked the files area? Have yeah. you used the search function? Why are you asking this newbie question? We love newbie questions because it reminds our veterans of things that they may have missed. And so, yeah, if you have an issue, it's not like all we do is output the, the learning. We actually encourage you to post questions, to post comments on other people's questions, to post samples that you're doing as you're learning how to do the work. Um, we help you when you can't figure out why your level is so low in Audacity, which is what we, we teach with, uh, what, how, to, how to do the, the stair-step method, you know, the little nuances of the stair-step method. Once you get that down, all of a sudden, you can concentrate solely on the storytelling, and it ups your game in terms of the final output. You mentioned the stair... Oh, 
I have lots going on in my head too. Yeah, great. Because someone said, it's the technology, it's the technology. Yeah. So yeah. address that because I think people are afraid of the technology. And then yeah. you mentioned the stair step method. Can you, after you talk about the technology, can you say what that is a little bit? How about if I talk about them both at the same time? Because it, okay. basically, it basically is the core of our technology and what we teach. For the longest time, there's been a process in the world of audiobooks called punch and roll. Uh, it requires Pro Tools or Studio One or uh, you know other pieces of software. And for me, it always struck me as a process that for a few seconds, if I make a mistake, for a few seconds, I have to take off my st storyteller hat and put on my engineering hat. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to minimize that time down to less than a half a second if I could, and I have. So that's what the stair step method is all about. And the good news is that the technology here, once you get it dialed in, and we have all kinds of videos, the, the face group, Facebook group, the on-site mastermind group, if you don't like Facebook, we have a second mastermind group for you. Once you get it dialed in, it is set and forget. It's a math problem. And once you've solved it, you don't have to spend your time over time going, okay, what was my artistic choice on this technology? How do I kind of nuance this to do things? You don't have to worry about it. Once your equipment's set up, once your, your systems are set up, the way we have you do it, you're done. You can just concentrate on being an awesome audiobook narrator. That's amazing. And I know I myself, I tend to gravitate anything I'm going to buy or invest in I need, um, I need tech, I need support. <laughs> I tend to gravitate towards companies that give support. So that's yep. really great to hear. Yep. yep. I uh, see Donnie made a remark. Hi, Donnie. Um, don't worry about Donnie the Mercado? tech. Did you? I don't know. I think if it's Donnie Mercado. If it's yes. D-A-W-N-N-I-E. Yes. yes. Yeah, I know Donnie. Yeah. Hi. Um, I, I see Jamie's answering a lot of the questions and they're going pretty fast. Yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, by the Roxy. way, I'll check the, I'll check the live after this live event and I'll see if there are any questions that I can jump in and answer after oh. we've finished. So David is so generous. <laughs> Someone said they registered or they're going to, um, by the way, there is a $300 savings yeah. if you sign up before tomorrow at 9 p.m. Uh, yeah. Pacific Standard Time. David is so generous. Isn't there something that you send out? Like once people, right before the class, a package of something that you send out? Maybe. Or? Maybe. <laughs> uh, a couple, well, first of all, a couple things. Um, if you know this is something you want to do, we want to reward that. So if you know you want to be a professional audiobook narrator, you want to add audiobook narration to your voiceover offerings or your on-camera acting offerings. A lot of voiceover narrators are mostly on camera, right? It's one of those areas of voiceover that other voiceover people are like, Where, aren't you, go, go do your commercials, go do your big tentpole movies for Marvel. What are you doing? Um, we not only give you an immediate couple of downloads, the, the whole detailed schedule, but also the curriculum, uh, and what to expect coming up, a couple of downloadable PDFs when you register. Uh, but we also send out a welcome package. And the welcome package includes a, a little gift that is going to be extraordinarily useful. It's not like a key fob where you have to figure out, okay, now what am I going to do with this? Um, and uh, a little thank you note for joining us. Um, but we want to reward those people who know this is what they want to do with a special discount. So if you follow the link in Berlin Casting's bio, uh, to the registration page before 9 p.m. tomorrow night, it will be $300 less. The moment 9 p.m. arrives, the, the number jumps up, and we want you to take advantage of that. Um, there was something you asked me that was in my head. I don't remember what, what I, there's so many things going on in my head right now. Um, but, uh, yeah. It was the things, how generous you are, the giveaway. Oh, yeah. Please um, tell me again how generous I am, please. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Oh, how do you, if you have the voice, how do you know that you have the, have a voice that the audience wants to hear? Uh -huh. 
that's I think the the answer to that question. is you can, you can assume that you have a voice that the audience wants to hear because this isn't an area that is only for announcers or for deep ballsy voiced people or for sweet sexy voiced people that's not the point the point here is how do you tell a story how do you add drama comedy information if you're doing nonfiction books how do you actually deal with that storytelling bone that you have right and if you're here it's too late you're already good <laughs> you wouldn't even know who terry was if you weren't in this space and already ready to go. And when you look at the most popular audiobook narrators in the world, they're not the James Earl Jones of the world. That would be actually distracting. If a whole audiobook was James Earl Jones and his deep, rich, bassy, baritone stuff, you'd be like paying attention to his voice, not the story. So I love that most of the really successful audiobook narrators have gravitas and depth but it's the feeling, it's the, it's, the, it's the acting that's coming through, not some aspect of their voice. Do you have to be able to pronounce words correctly? Yeah, you do. But that's not, that's not unlike anything else that we do on camera, on mic. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a, a barrier for entry. So it's, not, it's something you can safely move from the list of things that you need to worry about to the list of things that you don't need to worry about. I think it's interesting that you said this is really um, also and a great part for actors who's never done voiceover. As an actor, I would imagine that you consider yourself a good storyteller, a sure. good communicator. Sure. I mean, that's what acting is. Um, your voice is very important and you love messaging with your voice hello from india hi india hi. hey there you, you can join this too it's it's online so anyone let's talk around about the that. world can let's do talk this. about that i want to be very clear about who can and who can't take advantage of this oh good uh, acx is only available to residents citizens people who have a tax id oh in four, in four locations oh the united states canada the uk and Ireland, which is separate from the UK. If you're in India, you have to be a, a, a resident or a tax ID participant in one of those four countries. You can live anywhere you want. We have people who are living in Gibraltar and living in Portugal and living in Mexico and Australia, but they're citizens of the US, UK, um, Canada, or Ireland. So just be aware of that. ACX has not opened it up to other countries yet. They're Thank threatening, you. but Thank yeah. You. Yeah. And so, you're absolutely right on the on the acting part. I think this is one of those areas of voiceover. You know, actors on camera, there's a there's a phrase, if everything, if all you have is a hammer, everything starts to look, look like a nail. Mm -hmm. You know, you use the tools that you're comfortable with to do your work, even when new types of work are presented. And what's lovely is on camera nuances, you know, if you've got a really tight shot, you're going to lower the volume of your voice because you're going to match that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a, a big wide shot, you want to be a little bit bigger with your with your work so that people can see what you're doing. Right. Those kinds of things have parallels in audiobook narration. It's a really interesting uh, thing to watch because, you know, you have people that come in and do animation. That's also very similar to doing sitcoms uh, or video games, uh, very similar to doing action stuff. Audiobooks give you this amazing, almost stage-oriented ability yes. to tell bigger stories, deeper stories, longer stories, yes. and you get paid for it. Yes. I, I swear to God, I have yet to get I... over that moment when I wake up and there's a note from my bank saying, you've yes. gotten a deposit of X thousands of dollars, and it came from a publisher, or it came from a producer, or it came from a rights holder on ACX, and I'm like, oh, right. Right, I get paid to do this yeah. stuff. Yes. <laughs> Someone asked, um, how old is too young? So I imagine it's from a mom of, a, you know, their how kid. How old is too young? Um, look, there are books that are children's books, tween books, young adult books that are voiced by people uh, that are of all ages. I think the youngest narrator I ever saw was a book that this actually, this narrator is an overachiever. She was 12 years old or 13 years old. She wrote her own book 
and then she narrated it. So I think that's kind of an outlier case. But as long as yeah. you have the ability to dedicate, you know, a half an hour a day, half an hour every other day, uh, that's the other thing about audiobooks. They look like they're massive undertakings. Mm -hmm. 10, 12, 15 hours for some books. And you're like, oh, my God, I could never sit there that long and, and talk that long. And, well, you don't have to because it's not done in multiple hour long stretches. It's done in 20 minute segments and then you rest, you grab a <laughs> coffee or whatever, you know, if you have to. I mean, when I go, I'll, I'll go to uh, publishers like Penguin Random House and I'll go to their studios and do this work from time to time. And, you know, we do uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever. Then we go hang out in the kitchen for 10 mm -hmm. minutes, 15 minutes while he's making notes, while my director's making notes. Um, you know, it's just a lovely, awesome, and you do the same thing at home. You know, we teach you to edit your own work. So you do a chapter and then you edit mm -hmm. it and master that chapter and upload it to ACX so that the rights holder can take a listen. And that gives your voice a rest. It lets you, you know, cogitate and say, hmm, how am I doing here? What's going on? And it's like that. It's a series of islands that you're hopping to get to your, mm. your destination, not a huge slog that a lot right. of people think it is. Yeah. They can audition for other things in between. Sure. The actors now have so many auditions to do and at home. You also, get, you also get 60 days to do the book. Except now during the writer's strike, this could be a good thing. Well, hopefully the writer's strike you know, is going to be over soon. Hopefully, but. and hopefully we won't go on strike. But if we do, know that audiobooks don't stop. We're only striking one, one contract if we go on strike. I'm a proud union member. I'm on the Audiobook Narrator Steering Committee. I'm on mm -hmm. the voiceover committee. We're striking the primetime theatrical contract if we strike. The writers are striking pretty much everything. I mean, they, they, yeah. they're, 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 they're in a different space than we are. But if that happens, yes, yes, some work will go away. That work is not audiobook work. That work is television work, film work, animation for primetime and cable, things like that. But all other mm -hmm. categories of voiceover and on camera work, like commercials and, and video games, and e-learning and mm -hmm. uh, you know audiobooks, they don't stop. And so if you're concerned that, oh, maybe I don't have any income coming in or I don't even have any opportunities, this is a great opportunity to make hay while the sun shines. We would love to have you uh, as a student in the ACX Masterclass and I would go to Berlin Casting's bio and click on that link just to review it and see if it's for you. I think actors know that they really have to be diversified anyway. So I'm just so glad to be able to bring them this information that they might not have even thought of before. That's yeah. what's so great. Yeah, I think I think sometimes on camera actors look at voiceover like it's this this world that they would never be able mm -hmm. to understand. All the voiceover is done by celebrities. You know, that's not true. And the reverse is not true as well. I do a good job encouraging my voiceover clients to take a look at and maybe give a shot at doing on camera work. Because if you get better at one, you're gonna get better at the other. It just, it just works mm. out that way. You get more control of your voice for on camera and you start to use some on camera techniques for your voice. So what were you gonna say? Is the contract um, standard or complicated or what happens when one of these talent get a contract? Like, you yep. know, do they have to get a lawyer involved? Like what happens at that no. point? So um, the good news about audiobooks is whether you're in the union or you're not in the union, you can take any job. So all jobs are open to both categories. <clears throat> there's no requirement. There's no union only audiobooks. There's no non-union only audiobooks. And when you're on ACX, which is just one of several dozen options, uh, the last uh, the last segment of our uh, last module of our course is beyond beyond ACX. So we show you how to take what you've learned in our course and use it for other publishers, for other platforms, and so on. All of them have individual contracts that are very similar to each other, but they've all been negotiated separately. The rates are slightly different, but with ACX, you're basically given a button. The button is accept. Well, actually, there, there's three buttons, accept, accept with SAG after a health and retirement, and decline. Yeah. 
Oh. So, you know, you depending upon your situation, you choose one of those buttons. And it's a contract that is standard and has been negotiated for you, whether you're a union member or not. So you benefit from all the work that the union's been doing with all of these, uh, uh, you know, uh, signatories. You benefit from that. And so the contract is, is standard. And with ACX in particular, it's just a click of a button to accept it. Great. And someone is asking, which we sort of went over. Um, you did go over it what the setup is, what kind of equipment. Yep. And by the way, anyone, I see there are people just joining now. This will be reposted, the whole thing. So take a look out for it because there's so much information that you miss coming in, yeah. you know, a little late. We love having you. So we also you can revealed, definitely we, listen to the whole thing. We also revealed the meaning of life, but we can only do yeah. that one. So next time, show up on time. That's what I'd say. <laughs> so they need a mic, and uh, David already shared. It's, well, he didn't tell us really, what the name of the mic. There's a, here's the good news. Oh, well, I can give you the name of the mic. Sure, it's the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB+. Plus. And it's not just something that I think, oh, you, you're just getting started. Yeah, use this one. Later, there'll be a better one for you. No, no. I eat my own dog food. This is the mic I use every single day for every project that I do. And I do so because it's just easier. Wow. You know, it's just easier and it's inexpensive. And again, if you're, if you, if you want to get started at something like this, you want to lower your risk. This is a great way to do that. You're not spending thousands of dollars on a microphone. I've spent thousands of dollars on microphones already and I don't use them. I use this one and I love it. So, Amazing. yeah, so go, go when you watch the replay on this, go back, rewind it, you'll do it. But it's the Audio Technica AT2020 USB Plus. And that's one of those moments where uh, we're not like, oh, you have to take our course to find out what it is. No, no. Uh, only because of time, you should take the course so that we can show you how to use it <laughs> and how to use it well. But, you know, the, the actual mic itself, go for it. If you want to, if you want to yeah. do it, go for it. Yeah. And be successful with very little struggle. I mean, that's what I'm so impressed with, David, that that you take out as much struggle as possible. Sure. Well, you know, I think people look at new things and they immediately get struck with the fear of failure. I've never done this before. Uh, I, I think I know how this is supposed to go, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Uh, and so what we try to do is answer those questions and remove as much of that doubt as possible. That moment when you first start talking and narrating a book, that is the one thing that we can't help you with, other than to say, it's going to be okay. You're going to make a mess. You're going to make mistakes. <laughs> There's going to be something that happens, but you're not going to break anything. No, no acting police or audiobook narration police are going to show up and ask for the mic back. That's not going to happen you're going to learn from it. I have a, a, a phrase that I use about the secret of success. There is a secret to success. There is a definition of success. And that is doing more of what works and less of what doesn't. And if That's... you do that, you're gonna naturally do better at things. The trick is knowing the difference. What does really work rather than what you think should work and what really doesn't work even when you try it over and over and over again, is that really going to be your best approach to this? So we do our best to make sure that we, we give you the best practices and keep you safe from the things that will slow you down. I love that word safe. Oh, that feels so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be safe. Yeah. That's great. And we live, we live in a world, as you know, uh, you're celebrating your eighth anniversary in this business, right? Um, you know, uh, you, we live in a world, we work in a world that at best, at best is random. There's so much that is beyond our control. Yes. You know, I go in and I audition for Terry Berland. That's it. I gotta, I gotta leave and then forget about it. Cause everything beyond that is beyond my control. Who decides what, what does the, what does, what, what does the project need? Maybe I'm really good at it, but there's somebody who's even better, and that's great. With this, it is one of the, the, the least 
random aspects of our business is the best way I can describe wow. it. It's still random. It's still random. Wow. But there are so many opportunities and there's, you know, there's a, there's a, another uh, aspect to this. And that is, if you're a writer, if you write as well, and you've written your own books, mm -hmm. this is going to show you how to narrate those books and turn them into another product, creating your own content. Wow. So all these options, all these options. All right. Well, it's, I'm just so uh, thrilled that I personally know you and that mm -hmm. I can bring your expertise to the actors that I love because we're all a team. When I have a casting, I put it out there and there are great actors who answer the call and um, we go through the project together. So this has just been really great. Um, well, I, I want to thank words? you because I've never done one of these before. Oh, the all the, IG, all the Instagram, all the stuff that I've done in my life, all the different <laughs> ways I've been on Facebook, I've been on YouTube, I've been on Instagram. I have never done an Instagram live before. Terry Berland has helped me do something new. So <laughs> it's great. Thank you for that. Um, any last words to everybody who's still with us? Yeah. And to the people watching the recording, yeah. I would say, you know, you may have had uh, uh, an idea of what this is all about, and it may be accurate. It may not. And I invite you to consider that this is one of those areas that will lead to other things. This is one of those areas that will build your basis of being an actor. You'll have more credits for your, uh, for your resume. Uh, you'll be available on audible.com and on iTunes and on Amazon. Uh, and you'll make money. And I think that if those things appeal to you and you're looking at the opportunities that as we record this are currently not really there, this is an opportunity to look into other things. And now's the time to make hay, right? Go to, go to the bio for Berlin Casting and check out the link and just read through it and see if it appeals to you. Yeah, and watch the videos if you haven't watched them. Um, because, well, not only is there this special until tomorrow evening, but then registration totally closes Friday the 30th. Right. Totally closes. What time is that, David? Uh, 9 p.m., both nights. Tuesday night for the early action yeah. bonus, 9 yeah. p.m. Pacific, Pacific time. Pacific. And then we shut everything out because over the weekend, I matriculate all the new students and we start the, the release of all the content a week from today. So, and you, yeah. You start, start sending out packages of something. <laughs> maybe, maybe I do. You're, you're like, you're, you're, you're like letting people in on a secret. Oh, I'm sorry. Everybody's okay. thanking us, thanking us, thanking us. Yeah. So this has been great. Um, I appreciate it. Th thank you so much. I'm going to sign off now. Awesome. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much.